Hey guys, Hydroxid here and welcome to War Within Prep number 2. This is where we're looking at the Tenno phases and by golly, this is a lot of work. So we're going to start off with my look because this is what, you know, what we got to do. I'll show you what I'm working in the game. This is what I'll be using in the cutscenes. You see, I'm using for number the face now. Remember, the first one is a complete list of faces and the second one is truncated to the gender of the first one. So I used 24, number 24, um, the face in the first one, and then number 12 when the second list kind of blend between. You'll see the slider is actually the ratio. You see, I'm using the somatics, the Asa 03, and then the Akini diadem for the actual accessory. And now the next one, I'm kind of going for more of a fiery look because each one of these ones kind of has a story and this one is kind of relating towards Neja and Ember, the kind of fiery team that wants to kind of hurt those who punished against him from the Orc and Empire. So you'll see I'm using this kind of lovely kind of ebony toned skin. The face is number 23 and the second list is number 1 and you'll see the blend once again the ratio in the video. You'll see now for the somatics we're using the TT-11 and then the Udo piercings all around and the hair with that kind of dual toned really shows the personality with the eye color as well. And now our next one is this kind of poison expert and that's why we're using these green and purple tones for plant and poison. In the face list she's number six and then the second one is number two. You'll see the ratio here of the blend. She had somatics FA13 or the FA13 and the dual oculus just to tie with the theme of being the kind of a scientist and poison expert. And our next one, so this one is kind of more of a blinded look. I want to go towards what Margulis happened to her, how she was made blind by the Tenno. And this was also another team that kind of, you know, their power got too much from basically. And that's why you see we've got the accessory is the eye guard and then the somatics D11 with that white, white eye and the gray hair just ties it all together very nicely. And now since we have such technical frames such as the Bard frame, Ivar and Vauban, I wanted to kind of go more of a technician here. And that's why I think the ocular sensors look very good. It's very like kind of engineer slash mechanic look. The somatics you see we have the Rev 16 because I just like the way they look on the face with this look. And you'll see that it's a blend of faces between number 12 in the first list and then number 1 in the second list. And now this one is a real child of the orc and a real opulent look with that hairstyle, the white hair, the beautiful beautiful yellow gold eyes and the gold kind of around the face as well. The face is a blend between number 24 in the first list and then the second list is number 3. You see the somatics are the Rev 16 also and then the accessories are the Masem earpieces. And our last one is now kind of more just a plainer, plainer look here. It's a blend between face number 23 and number 8 in the second list. You see we're using the Somatics LN2, then the Satiri Diadem, which is little horns on the top. And just kind of more of a plain, more of a dustier look. I was kind of going more for like a Phobos, Phobian, uh, resident like uh, Barrow Katir, and that's kind of ones I was going for more sandy colours. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. This was a quite a tricky one to get all the information in in one video without overloading the picture. Um, I think I succeeded. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you had a favorite look or even send me a link to the one that you had. Um, I'm really interested to see what kind of one represents you. I'm so excited for The War Within. I cannot wait. I hope you're excited too. So we'll see further down the week what comes up in the channel and I will see you soon.